close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out. Tell yourself this is the only thing you're going to be concerned about in the world right now. Just awareness, staying with the breath. Any other concerns you can put aside. Because even though you may have work to do in the world outside, you've got some very important work to do right here, inside. As the Buddha pointed out, we all act for the sake of happiness, but we end up causing a lot of suffering. That's because we don't know ourselves. The mind doesn't know itself. And so we have this problem inside, the suffering that we experience that nobody else experiences and that we're causing, nobody else is causing. And this, he said, is the suffering that weighs down the mind. And when aging, illness, and death come, it's going to weigh even heavier if we're not skilled. So we can work on our skills. Focus on how the mind relates to the body. how it's aware of the body, but also has some influence on how things are going in the body. You can change the way you breathe. You can take advantage of that fact. You can breathe in a way that's comfortable. Try longer breathing, shorter breathing, faster, slower, heavier, lighter, deeper, more shallow, to see what kind of breathing feels best for the body right now, it feels best for the mind right now. You learn that by the way you breathe can have an impact on how you experience the body, and how you experience the body is going to determine how easy it's going to be to stay here. Right where the work needs to be done. So settle in. Try to be here as continuously as you can. If you slip off, just come right back. Slip off again, come right back again. Don't get discouraged. While you're here, try to be as sensitive as possible to how the breathing feels and to what the mind is doing. So you get them to fit snugly together. This way you have a good foundation for going deeper into the issues of the mind. Because when you go into the mind, you're going to find some things you don't like to see. And it's good to have a good, solid foundation so you're not knocked off by what you're going to find. The Buddha gives you the tools for understanding how the mind talks to itself, how it creates issues inside, and how it doesn't have to. And once you're firmly established here, you can apply those lessons. Take care of the work that needs to be done inside. And you find that by taking care of your inner work, you're also helping with issues outside. The less greed, aversion, and delusion are being produced inside, the less they're going to be flowing out outside in your thoughts, in your words, in your deeds. So even though your primary focus here is inside, the effects spread out. When I was in Brazil, someone was saying that they had been told that when you meditate, you should meditate with your eyes open, because after all, the real work of the world is done when you're out in the world with your eyes open. But that neglects the fact that there's so much going on inside this inner world right here, right now, which is going to have an impact on the world outside. And you want to get to know right here, right now, as clearly as you can. So if you want to meditate with your eyes open or eyes closed, it doesn't really matter. But you want to give your primary attention to what you're thinking, what you're saying, what you're doing, and particularly what's going through the mind, because that will spread its impact into your life, into other people's lives. So you want to make sure that impact is good. And it all starts right here. So take care of the business that needs to be done inside, because nobody else can do it for you. This is your work. And if you don't do it now, it's not going to get easier as you get older. So here's your opportunity. Try to make the most of it. You'll benefit, and the people around you will benefit as well.